perfect Meg. Sometimes limes aren't as juicy as lemons, so rolling them is great. Really releases, gets all the juice. It's awesome. So today moving. we showed you how to do a dish, peppers and onions cooked down. Today we're going to show you what to do with your peppers and onions. So today we're going to make fish fajitas using a simple mm. white fish, John Dory. We're going to season the peppers and onions and then we're going to add the fish, cook it down, and let your imagination roll with how you want to serve these wonderful, Ooh. delicious fish tacos. So, we'll give you some ideas too. That's right. So <laughs> our cooked down peppers and onions look like this. They're nice and glistening. So there's a plenty of oil Caramelized in the pan. Yes. And, brown. and we've added peppers and garlic to it. So it's like really ready to go. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually, I'm going to season the peppers and onions. I'm going to add the um, balsamic, balsamic vinegar. Okay, a little balsamic vinegar. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I know why do you add garlic powder? You know, it just adds to the dimension of the yes, dish. You see, Pegs has a heavy hand with that garlic powder. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a fajita seasoning and about a teaspoon or two, you know, about a teaspoon now because I'm also going to season the fish. I'm going to add yes. a pinch of Celtic sea salt. And then I'm going to take that lime Megan just juiced and it's about, um, oh, about a half a, a cup, anywhere from a quarter to a half a cup. It's a good line. Right? Because you're going to cook this down. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to make it really rich in flavor. So we're going to cook this down, I'd say for about 10 minutes. Just to really get all the flavors kind of cooked Kind of together. marry, yeah, marry all the flavors. I like to marry the flavors. All right, so let that cook down. Now what I'm going to do is season the fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Meg, here, why don't you help me here? Why don't you put some in your hand Thank and we're just going to take and add a little more of the garlic powder to the fish and we're going to just coat the fish with this fajita seasoning, you know, kind of dredging it a little bit and then we'll do the other side because we've already also added this f seasonings to the fajita mm -hmm. onion and peppers. Now, if you're not a fish lover like we are, you can always do this with chicken. You can do this with meat. You can even just add black beans or your favorite bean to it. But we're making fish tacos. That's right. Fish fajitas. Fish fajitas, fish tacos, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And then once you've seasoned them and you've given your peppers and onions time to just cook down, all we're going to do is place the fish on top of the peppers and onions. And then... We're going to cover it. That's what I need. Yes. A nice top. So we're going to cover it for about five minutes. And then it'll be really nice and fragrant. The fish will have cooked through. You don't even really need to flip it, but we're going to show you how to flip it and see how all the juices and the flavors kind of get all nice and the other side. yummy. They get really yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll wait five minutes. Oh, looks so good. Mm, smells even better. Okay, so we have our beautiful fish mm -hmm. just about ready. I want to show you though, once you flip it, and then all the onions and peppers are just going to seep in and flavor this fish unbelievably. Now, there's two pieces of fish, and really, it's, it's good for anywhere from four to six people because you really don't add you that don't much have fish. The whole filet. There's mm -hmm. a lot of fish there. And so now what I'm going to do once I flip it, because now it just needs like maybe a minute or two, I'm going to add fresh cilantro to the top. And we're just going to let it sit for a second so the cilantro can wilt. And there's so many ways that you can eat this fish. You can do it Covered. on a tortilla. This is a spinach, Rudy's spinach tortilla. Yes. Or I like putting mine on a salad, making a little fajita salad. And you can use little corn tacos, you can put it into a burrito. You can serve it as is. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. presentation, just the fish with the onions on top. Yeah, do so, a side salad. Super easy. Corn. Yeah. Okay, so, so what we're going to do while the fish is finishing up, I'm going to add, if you don't have an avocado laying around, now yes. this is a reed avocado. This is a in season <laughs> currently, so... And so you can either make some guacamole, some salsa, mm -hmm. and so, you know, you can also add cheese if you want. Sometimes we're not really big on cheese, you know, 
But fresh corn is really oh, yummy. Perfect. Red well, onions. I mean, there's so mm -hmm. many onions in there, but so so you have some of your hummus that's gonna hold your taco together, and we're gonna go ahead and put oh, some perfect. fish fish on, on top it. of this. Mm. Really beautiful. I'm gonna bring my bowl to you. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, it's beautiful and flaky. Mm. Here, let me give you a little more onions. Okay, yes. Oh, Best my. part. Oh, the onions with this beautiful cilantro. Okay, so we have that. Mm, looks so good. Now what I'm going to do mm. is I'm going to take this. And you can see you don't really need very much of the fish in your taco. And you'll know it's done as it really, it breaks apart. So it flakes. It flakes. flakes. So and it gets nicely. clear and white. It mm -hmm. gets clear and white. Okay. Clear and white are two different Thing. So I'm gonna say it gets more. It gets white instead of clear. Yeah, white. It's white. You're right. All right, <laughs> it gets white. All right. So for the full recipe, you can go to currygirlskitchen.com. Um, mm. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. We're doing it all. Mm. And yeah, if you want to try some of this good stuff? Check it out. Olé! <laughs> and let us know what you do with it. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 Oh well. Mm-hmm.